with you all my healthy lunch recipes slash ideas. These are great for school, for work, for anything on the go. I'm so excited to be sharing these with you guys. These are my personal favorites, so let's just get into the video. This right here is one of my favorite home-cooked meals I used to have when living back home. It's salmon and veggies. Salmon is one of my favorite proteins and then paired with my two favorite vegetables. You guys are gonna love it. The ingredients you'll need is organic mayonnaise, Spike, which you can actually get at any grocery store, healthy grocery store here in the U.S., garlic salt, sweet potato, a bunch of asparagus, and lastly, salmon. The first step in making this delicious lunch is cooking a bunch of holes in the sweet potato. This makes it cook better and faster and all of that good stuff. I like to rinse the sweet potato even though I don't personally eat the skin um, the way I'm baking it today. So rinse it and then preheat your oven to 420 degrees Fahrenheit for about an hour. Meanwhile, let's get the veggies prepared or the other veggies prepared. Asparagus is so amazing with this. So again, obviously rinse it. And then am I the only one that does this? I was taught to kind of snap it in half and then wherever it breaks, that's where like, the bad end is. Um, okay, so moving on. Salmon. Since we're baking this at the same time, Dad made this recipe for me all my life, so this is like his secret recipe. Sorry, Dad, I'm exposing it. And then the next thing you're going to do is put a heavy amount of that spike seasoning. Now that I think about it, I don't even know why we put mayonnaise on it. I've just done that growing up. So you want to put a very generous amount. That is what is the secret. And then put it on a baking sheet. Spray a little section of olive oil down for those asparagus asparaguses and yeah this is just so good I can't get over it. To season the asparagus I like to season it with garlic salt and then put a tiny bit more olive oil on it just so it bakes yummy and put it in the oven. I like to do this once the sweet potato is done because it's obviously different degrees. This does take a bit of time so if you're wanting something to either pack work or for school, I recommend making this the evening before since the sweet potato takes forever. But here I am just plating it up and this sweet potato is so amazing. I season it with butter and a little bit of salt, but you can do whatever you want or however you like your sweet potato. So this is my first healthy lunch idea. I, like I said, grew up on this. My dad makes it perfect and I think it's tortillas to use are sprouted green ones. They're a great source of protein and they're organic. And then the hummus I like to use is a spicy one. This is from Sabra. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it just gives it a little bit more flavor. If you're not using pre-cut or like pre-sliced veggies, this is the time that you're going to cut them. I use just half of a cucumber and also half of a red bell pepper in this. So that makes me about four, three, three little wraps. And then if you don't use the rest of the pre-cut veggies or the cut red veggies, you can just dip them in hummus and it's a delicious snack. So now I am on to the red bell pepper and I always take that little pit out or like the inside of it. Sounds yucky. Okay, honestly, the easy thing to do would just be to buy shredded carrots, which you totally can but I already had these baby carrots on hand, so I didn't find it necessary to go out and purchase something when I could pretty much do the same thing. I don't really mind. It was a little bit difficult, but I would just slice them all into like halves or quarters. It was fun. I have one of those handy dandy um, apple slicers that just cuts it and like, takes the core out. 
but this apple was too huge. So here I am just slicing it away. Apples are probably one of my favorite fruits. Now it is time to assemble the little wrap. And I'm not gonna lie, these tortillas are extremely, extremely tough and they're almost a little bit too hard. So if you're okay with the mess, I totally say eat them. Go for this tortilla because it is healthier and it's a great source of protein. But if you kind of want to avoid that and have it be a little bit easier, I'd say go for something like a spinach tortilla or something of that sort. Because if you can see when I take a bite or even try to roll it up, it kind of, it's just too hard and it's, it's just a little bit difficult, I'm warning you. But it tastes amazing in my opinion. It's a little bit of a hearty tortilla if you've never had Ezekiel. So there it is, super delicious, super duper healthy. Have those raw veggies, the raw fruit, and again, the tortilla. You can't beat it. You'll just need to pack a napkin and yeah, see, it completely comes apart, but I don't care. I hope you guys like this recipe and let's go on to the last one. This next one is my crunchy tuna sandwich. And it's actually not even technically a sandwich because it's open faced. So let's get started. You're gonna need tuna fish, celery, I use two stocks, organic mayonnaise again, and if you don't wanna use mayonnaise, you can always do avocado. The taste is a bit different, but you can, that's an alternative. Brown rice, rice cakes, and the last thing is these Clausen pickles. I think that's how you say it, Clausen, I don't know. Forgot to mention this, but the tuna fish I get is always in water. I hate the tuna fish in oil. I gross and so I like to mix it in this little jar and I um, already mentioned the avocado because that's an alternative but I personally just like to use mayonnaise use a very light amount again I hate super saucy tuna <laughs> really gross I love a lot of substance in my tuna fish so I use two whole celery stalks like I said and so here I am I like to use rice cakes instead of bread. I don't really know why. I've just been doing this for probably the last year or so. Tuna sandwiches are good, but I just prefer this. I love the nice crunch and I think they're just super duper yummy. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what my favorite go-to healthy lunches are. If you guys make any of these, I would love to hear back from you guys either on Twitter or in the comments below. And another thing I want to mention is everything that you need to know recipe-wise and a list of all the ingredients are in the description box under this video. But before I go, I forgot to mention I love to add fresh fruit with this. It kind of lightens up the tuna fish and all of that. So I love you all and I will see you in my next video. Bye!